The rivalry between Cavalry and Forge will reach its pinnacle this week with the finals that wrap up the first Canadian Premier League season. Despite being a new league, only six months into its existence, the games between the two have been heating up. There's no question that we're talking about the CPL's best two teams. The first time they met at Tim Hortons Field was back in May. Cavalry took the victory, their third consecutive triumph on a brilliant start. Nick Ledgerwood put the Cavs ahead in the first half, but Tristan Borges equalised before half-time. On the last move of the match, Nico Pasquotti delivered, allowing Cavalry to win the first encounter between the two giants. Almost a month later, they squared off again, this time in the Canadian Championship. Emery Welshman put the hammer on top, and when it seemed as if the score was going to finish 1-0, Roberts fouled Dominique Malonga in the box. Malonga converted the penalty, and his celebration led to a late brawl. A week later, in the second leg game at Spruce Meadows, after Kyle Becker's opening goal, Malonga and Sergio Camargo lifted Cavalry to a come-from-behind win that eliminated the hammer from cup competition. Back in the league, Forge became the first CPL team to beat Cavalry. A goal by Becker broke the streak of seven consecutive wins achieved by the Cavs to start the season. Despite the loss, a few days later, Tommy Wilden Jr.'s men conquered the spring season title with a win at York. In the full season, but this time at Steel City, Forge also became the first team to defeat Cavalry in that tournament. A great goal by Jonathan Grant resulted in the home side win. In the final stages of the full season, the two powerhouses met again twice in only seven days. Both teams took home wins. At Spruce Meadows, a brace by Malonga led Cavalry to a 2-1 victory. But a week later in Hamilton, Chonier became the unexpected hero, scoring right before half-time. Despite the win, Dominic Samuel was booked twice and will not be available for the opening game of the finals. With a win over Edmonton, Cavalry also claimed the full season crown. They're close games. You know, um, I think we're top of the table together uh, for a reason. You know, it's, it's two good teams that don't give each other an inch. And you know what? This is, this is Canadian soccer. This is playing in the freezing weather, um, playing at night, playing again against them next week. Uh, it's highly skilled teams. I think it's going to make for a great final. Over seven matches, each team has scored seven goals. Forge have won three times, and Cavalry have also won on three occasions, with one draw between the two teams. The most important thing we see is a good football match. Uh, all around, we talk sometimes a little bit of uh, the physical stuff, but when you look at our games, it's a good football match all around, and I think um, that's the advertisement we're giving the league and for Canadian soccer. No game has been decided by more than a single goal. The Hammer have recorded two clean sheets, while the Cavs have conceded one goal in each of the seven games both sides have played against each other. With the two squads so close together, it's very hard to pick a favourite for the first ever CPL Finals, which promises to be a thrilling occasion.